Hi there, this is Vahid from the RF Education channel and welcome to a new session on Django Admin Panel Customization. In previous session, we created a new project that contains three models, person, course and grades. And uh, we did a couple of customization on uh, person uh, model and today we are going to focus on course model. As you might already know, uh, each course uh, were taken by a couple of uh, students. So I'm going to add a dynamic field to course model that shows the number of students that took that specific course. And by clicking on that course, I'm going to redirect to the people model and filter uh, the list based on the uh, students that took uh, the specified course. So let's see how we can add uh, this capability to our admin model and redirect between different model change views. So we were supposed to add another column here that indicates how many people took this course and by clicking on that link we should redirect to uh, people uh, change list area and see uh, the people that really took that course. Let's see how we can do this. So when we want to add something to our course uh, list we need to go to uh, admin page and uh, the admin class for that model. So we need to add something inside our course admin. So first of all I'm gonna say we need to display something uh, the name of the course and also the year and I'm gonna define a method named view underline students students underline link so I'm gonna uh, create this method and this method gonna return a link that uh, redirect me to the people change list area and uh, let's see a list of filtering by the year now let's define that method view underline student student underline link and it's gonna pass itself an object as a parameter. So first of all I'm gonna say the count uh, or the number of uh, students that took that course is equal to uh, the object that person um, dot uh, person underline set dot count. So using this call or we can uh, refer to the related object to this uh, course using uh, the name of the field so it's person let's go to models mm. We have courses here and vice versa we have person inside our course okay person uh, under the zip dot count let's uh, let's uh, let's return just count to see what we have right now here we only have uh, a number a simple number and if I press refresh here we can say this course in the uh, year 1997 had uh, had 3%, 2%, percent, 3%. Percent. So let's go here and I want to change it to a link. For this purpose we need to define a URL object. So this URL object uh, will be imported and also a couple of other things that we need to do. Let's see what we need to do. Mm. I'm gonna say from Django dot urls import reverse for me and also from Django dot utils dot http import URL uh, URL encode and let's get back here inside this window. So I'm gonna create a URL variable, it's equal to equal to what I'm gonna say you're uh, going to somewhere okay and this is admin area and you need to go to core 
segmentation and after that we need to specify the model the model is person and which area we have three different area as I mentioned we want to go to change list area and I'm gonna provide a parameter for you okay query parameter that gonna tell you uh, from from the data set uh, who should you return so and I'm gonna say the parameter is use URL encode to add something to our URL and I'm gonna fetch based on the courses the field that uh, declared inside our uh, our person model courses underline the line ID the ID inside the courses should be equal to object dot id so I'm looking for all uh, let's see yeah I need to close it here I'm looking for the pers uh, for the people who took this course people who their courses field contain some ID like this one this object that I have already mentioned here now I'm gonna return a formatted a string a, a format HTML uh, output format HTML so this time I'm gonna declare a, a tag it's gonna refer to somewhere and it's gonna refer to somewhere and let's close the a tag and here I should print the number of students students so first I need to pass the URL and the second I'm gonna pass the count let's see yeah everything is okay and if I press refresh oops something went wrong reverse for not found core underline person underline change list for courses let's see what is really happened well I forgot to close the parentheses for reverse function here and uh, I think that's true so let's refresh yeah it says that three two and three students took uh, these courses so let's click on this one two students here we only have two students Summers and Rosenberg and if you get back and click on this one three students you can see all those students uh, and also um, for this one again let's uh, go to grade and um, for let's see which uh, for computer science I'm gonna delete computer science computer science and we need to have three computer science computer science well let's see what we have here well that's true we need to check uh, people here you can see uh, Summers ha uh, took these three courses and Rosenberg again took these three courses and Harris just took two courses so I'm gonna um, remove uh, two courses from Rosenberg and it's just uh, pick one of the courses let's apply the change and get back to course so oh, yeah it's okay we have one uh, one student here and for this one we have two students and for this one we have three students so we redirect ourselves to change this area using this query parameter courses under the ID equal to three this is the way that we can uh, handle this situation but we want to uh, somehow uh, redirect from uh, one uh, model to another model we need to provide a URL using reverse method and uh, specify where we want to go directly the admin and the app and then the model and the area that you are uh, plan to go and also we can change the area and I'm going to show you how to do this and then provide a URL um, 
parameter to see uh, to load or to fetch data from that model and show to us and also you're able to change this uh, URL parameter here instead of uh, working with courses imagine that I want to load the person that their name or their last name start with uh, capital S so I'm I'm going to say we don't need any courses uh, we don't need courses anymore so I'm going to say last name thunder starts with at this time capital S so the count uh, remain unchanged so here we have um, the same output but if I click on uh, three students you can see we only have summers because I changed the query string last name starts with S this is the way that you change this query string or if you want to uh, go to another area for example I want to go to add new person you can say go to add area not change list so if I refresh and I go to course and click on this link you can see I redirected to the add area for a uh, new person to our data set so this is the way that you can work with area different areas let's change it to change the list one more time and uh, let's see what we can do so I think that's enough for this session and in next session I'm gonna uh, show you how to uh, take control over this form and uh, do some validation things or even change the order change the labels and things like that using uh, pro or, or by providing some form set uh, for our admin class for this model so I hope you enjoyed the content of this session till next session goodbye